Okay. We, uh, actually, no. Uh, uh, no. Uh, we, we are already uh, like uh, almost an hour out of time. Uh, so we are going to move on. Uh, there will be a lot of us tonight and we will probably talk about this uh, later today. But uh, for now, we're going to finalize this discussion and move on to the next subject. I'm, yeah, I would like to point out that after the 18 o'clock thing, and we have to answer a quest, second question, that would be food. I would be uh, open for a Q&A session if you have any questions that regard me or to my position or to me or anything in that. I'm open for a discussion, but uh, we need to get to come to a conclusion at yeah. some point. So... Uh, Okay, so the next uh, part of this meeting will be the lightning talks. We have planned four, I'm sorry, five lightning talks, and we start with uh, Factory Flying Circus by Igor. Okay, uh, do you have HDMI connection? <laughs> Are you serious? Okay. We do have visuals and stuff to show you, so for that we need. Okay. VGA. Yes, we do. Okay, so that's a good one. While he's setting up. So. Um, no, it's okay. Okay. It's a kind of busy. Okay, so in due time, while we see setting up the Flying Circus, there's a couple of people involved. Uh, you will recognize them by the wonderful fancy badges. What is that? Uh, well, that's my first slide, really. Am I not using it enough? Am I better this way? You can really, really enjoy my deep voice. Ooh, the Flying Circus. Welcome to the Flying Circus, and or at least to the lightning talk about the Flying Circus. So, what is it? Well, the... Whoop. Oh, what was it? Yes, okay. So, it is the hardware hacking paradise for Sha. That's what the Flying Circus is. It is an on-site fab lab. Basically, oh, I have this random project I want to complete during this uh, event, and can I get uh, shit 3D printed? Yes, you can. Can I get something forged into the shape I need it? Yes, you can. Can I get it CNC'd out of triplex? Yes, you can. It's a fully stocked machine metal, wood workshop, potentially electronics and other things. Complete electronics lab, a large tent for workshops. So see your hack center is probably part of this. And very importantly, the factory for building SHA itself. Okay, that's the idea. How does it look like? If I that's how it looks like. The artist impression. So, uh, there's, it's a circus. It's the flying circus. It's a place where you can literally fly in and do your thing. What are the parts of the flying circus? Well, let me, let's go around. Well, should I start with the most important thing? The bar and lounge. It's also a social place where everybody can get together who cares about hardware is interested. There is a fab lab. So, all the s standard fab lab stuff you might expect will be there. We have an electronics, textiles, and leather workshop. So bringing in people who normally would not maybe associate with the hacker scene, people who are much more into trades and crafts. There is, the, of course, the forge and the smelter because, hey, fire is never boring. There is the metal workplace, fully equipped from plasma to welders to whatever you want. Next to it, because it's safe to have fire and wood together, you have the wood workplace. <laughs> See those two as also the factory. Most likely the first thing we'll build on the site because from there we'll build the rest. There is... And uh, we're thinking about the market or a shop. There's always people selling kits. There's always need for yet more steel, yet more wood. Uh, uh, a village comes up, I see, I need, I need wooden poles. Sure, we have that. And there is the workshop space where any and all workshops that on, happen at the event can take place. Now, this is, of course, open and flexible, but that's kind of the setup. With a nice, unique team, a coherent team, the Flying Circus, think... Um, Cyberpunk, flying, uh, Monty Python, the whole thing. Okay, so um, what, does it, what, does it what is needed for this to happen? Well, clearly tools and materials. Well, we have a lot of that already sorted because I'll introduce the team towards the end and we already have vast majority of things we need. Many other things you might still need to rent. 
we need more people. The way we are organizing this is that there will be uh, content leads, so the guy responsible for the metal, the guy responsible, girl responsible for the wood, and within that team wood, we want a number of people to act as uh, workshop bosses, namely people who will send you away outside the forge if you show up with your slippers. Yeah. So people who will take care of the safety, who will make sure that nobody gets injured, that no machines get damaged. Um, so that's that. So people who will help other people out to watch for correct tools. We need to talk to everybody and their dog, specifically Team Power. Can we please have 36 amps of power? Thank you. Um, <laughs> 64. 64, sorry. Oh, yeah. See, I'm um, 42, yeah. Uh, team Logistics, we will talk to you very closely. Um, we clearly need a place in the field. Uh, we very much would like to talk to the village team because uh, we do see this as the place where any other village that has interest in being, uh, doing stuff with hardware can join the circus and make it bigger and more colorful. colorful. And uh, everybody else, of course, people like uh, the security and all of that stuff. And of course, we want your feedback as a quick... Um, so in terms of people who are involved, can you just raise your hand if you're Project Orga for this? So there is Ilias over there, there's Quint, Crystal, Vard me and maybe you if you're interested badges, badges. oh yes uh, do talk to us where is my little sign we will have a little sign outside so you can find us and we have nice little badges with a circus on them more info um, we are on the wiki now uh, we have a new channel we're mainly on slack right now we're trying to integrate that as well I know slack is evil all of that but it's also very useful for the fairly diverse group of people that we're trying to get in. Some people who already said that they're coming, Mitch Altman said that he's very happy to join us with his soldering workshops. The Spark Shack from, uh, from Respace will be there. Walking Robot um, from uh, Antwerp will be there. Uh, Dan uh, Savugo with his ring said he was gonna come. So we do hope to bundle and create a crystallization point for all the hardware. Did I forget anything? Yeah, are we good? Any questions? Because we have 14 seconds. <laughs> Quick. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Please find us afterwards to discuss anything you want to know. Yeah? Sounds excellent. Awesome. Lightning talk would be what it means to be Orga by Jurt. Does it work? Yeah, it works. So, what does it mean to be Orga? Um, you have some idea, otherwise you wouldn't be here. So, thanks for that, and thanks for having an idea, because having ideas is what it's about. Um, there is a FAQ, a very, very frequently asked question, and that is, what can I do for Sha? It is an, a question that a lot of people ask us. If they haven't asked you, then you haven't been visible as an organizer to the outside world. Um, please be visible to the outside world as an organizer so people can ask you, what can I do? And you probably have no idea. Or you do, in which case, perfect, but a lot of teams, they don't really have an idea what their volunteers can do. So the first order of business is create the to-do list. And if you're not very good at creating to-do lists or managing them, then that's what your volunteers can do. First thing to do is to create a to-do list. So if you don't have a to-do list as a team just yet, Create one today, this evening, with the very first bullet point, create a to-do list. That is your to-do list for now. Um, sorry? No, it, it's in progress and it will be f un, un, until after the event. Um, so that's what it means to be Orga. I also had a list of things that it doesn't mean. It doesn't mean spending uh, three quarters of all the organizing time on discussions, but we already had that, so let's not go into details about that. Um, another thing is that I would like to point out that there is a difference between roughly, and there's overlap, and it's not very distinct groups, but there are roughly three kinds of volunteers here. We have organizers, we have team-bound volunteers, and we have angels. Angels are mostly the, the um, very capable ad hoc volunteers that announce themselves during uh, ticket sales or on site. Um, 
we have team-bound volunteers, and we have a few already, and then we have organizers. And there have been a few questions. Also, you're um, giving me a timer, but your screen has timed out. So, um, but um, yeah, there. So, oh, two and a half minutes. That's perfect. I don't even need that. So I'll just be silent for a moment. Okay, oh no, okay. Um, but um, yeah, there, there have been questions about, so an organ meet, should I be there or should I stay home? Um, if you are a to-do list manager, also known as Orga, then be here. If you're interested, be here. But if you're just here for the discussion, don't, because we're here to organize an event. Um, mostly, um, if people want to join your team and they don't want to organize, they don't want to uh, create a to-do list, they don't want to share the to-do list with other people, they are the people who will actually execute your to-do list. So the to-do list is code, the volunteers are, are, the ex uh, are the virtual machine that the code runs on. They don't have to be here. And that actually helps probably with finding volunteers because a lot of people don't have the time to uh, do meetings like this, do mumble meetings, do be on mailing lists, etc. But they can still be very valuable for your team. So um, yeah, that's the difference. Um, thanks for being an organizer. Keep organizing and try not to be distracted. Thank you. Okay, the next lightning talk up will be Alt Power. Do you have slides? VGI, HMI? Okay. Um, well, uh, most of you already know. There, w yeah, I'm uh, uh, building a alternative power network for sure. It's a 42 volt DC grid that I'm uh, planning to build. Um, well, yeah. Normally at Hacker Camps you only have the 230, 40, uh, uh, 400 volts uh, system. Um, yeah, it's nice to have something different, I think, and uh, yeah. A lot of people I spoke also have that same idea. We want to do something with power. Uh, we want to have the surplus energy from uh, solar panels and everything. We want to share it. Uh, we want to have uh, nice power stats. Um, yeah, and well, it uh, yeah. Then I I started to build such a system, and I built it on paper already. It should work. Um, I'm testing things. Uh, well, um, yeah, I'm going to build it, uh, <laughs> but I need some help. I need some help from from uh, from uh, yeah people who know electronics, people who know uh, uh, other things like uh, how to raise funds for this uh, project, um, people who can do better presentations than I can, um, people. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. It's on the uh, it's on the website. Uh, my slides are not running at the moment. Uh, crappy computer. Um, what the hell? Maybe on the other screen. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if I can do this a better way. Uh, okay. Yeah, yay! Yeah. Yeah. Main screen turn off. Yeah. Next slide. Okay. Yeah, this is a normal campsite with a lot of power. You cannot see this. People, uh, normally we have a generator here. People connect to a generator, JC chaining everything. Um, some people have solar panels. You cannot see it on here, but but, but they're there. Um, okay. Um, so this is normal situation. Uh, this is the grid. Um, there's a DC power uh, power station in the center um, that run, runs on the diesel generator. 
we maybe have a, a in between solution for for some solar panels, but it's not not uh, sure yet. Um, we have these six nodes at the end; they are all interconnected, so the power is uh, divided evenly, or not not really evenly, but in a better way than than using only straight connections. Um, if someone has here a windmill or something, um, they can put on the excess power. Somebody else can use it. Uh, solar panels can be connected. Uh, you can build a swing or something other uh, with bikes that generates electricity. Um, yeah, you can uh, yeah uh, choose your own project and uh, do what you like with it. And uh, well, here's some numbers and and, and things. It's uh, 42 volts DC, about 16.5 kilowatts uh, as the main power supply. I already have that in uh, at rest base, so well, it's a uh, it's a lot, uh, lot of power. I think we can uh, fuse about four amps per user. You should power your laptop, your uh, small cooling uh, fridge, or something like that from it, and it can serve about uh, 150 people and a few villages. And you know, well, the area is about 90 by 90 meters where people can camp in. The grid itself is about 50 meters wide. Do you have, oh, back? Yeah. Okay, we need uh, some people. Uh, software engineers for making cool uh, st statistics and everything like uh, uh, MQTT based things that c so you can share your energy data, so you can uh, yeah see how much. Uh, uh, power is on the grid. Uh, how much p uh, people generate, and yeah, all opt in, of course. But okay, uh, we need some social engineers to raise funds or raise people to help uh, builders. Yeah, because we need to build cabinets, and somebody who's uh, who likes to do t presentations. It's not one of my uh, my uh, things I like. Your time okay. Is up. That was that was it. Uh, if you have questions, please come to me, and uh, well, we'll talk about this later. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next lightning talk is Stitch about data retention. Uh, sorry, use the other, please. No slides. One, two, yeah. Okay, no slides. These are my slides. I will put them on a wiki somewhere. Um, I'm doing uh, some terrible thing that's called uh, uh, investigation uh, on what happened on hacker events in the past. I, my first big hacker event, well, the big one was in 2009. I started going to hacker events in 2001, but I missed out on uh, both hall and what the heck. So um, what I was interesting interested in is a lot of things and especially numbers and facts I like those things so uh, what I for example made is a list of when the events took place how many people uh, were there uh, how many days it was how many tracks it had so what you can see from that is that from uh, for example Har had seven tracks and Ohm had 21 tracks and that's a big difference and many complaints ensued uh, so now there will be nine as as, as far as over 9,000 okay, 9, everybody will be at track <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for content um, I counted the talks and uh, from 1993 at uh, hacking at the end of the universe there were 20 about 20 hip there were uh, uh, for 50 about 50 what the heck 132 and at ohm 426 um, so that's a little bit more <laughs> um, and I, I, I will have these numbers on the wiki so you can add them because I want to have everything with the source that actually mentions it like a Wikipedia article so not like your opinion but just a fact from the history from archive.org perhaps uh, I've got a list of sponsors in the past and if they paid money and services I don't have the amounts yet but I'm, I probably will have them and uh, of course you will see in, in, in the early days like HIP will be access for all as the biggest sponsors. I wonder why. <laughs> and yeah, and, and there's, uh, there's a lot of other sponsors. Um, so really interesting things. Uh, and there are none listed uh, for Xia yet. Uh, they will probably provide services and stuff and not money. So 
Um, of course, I also have a slide, and that's probably the most discussed one uh, in the future, the relationship to the police. Um, in uh, Hacking at the End of the Universe, there were, um, like, HIP, no, at HIP, there were two police officers on site 24-7. There's an evil conversation about that, and also warning that you shouldn't be doing anything illegal at the event. Um, the forensics village was there also, um, and the police actively started uh, trying to stop the event since 97, and they continued doing that until, what the heck, in 2005. One of the events had 100 cops on site with different colored wristbands, uh, so you could easily spot them, and that was a mistake, so that's interesting. <laughs> Uh, in many occasions, uh, Justice Department has been asked to be on stage. Uh, for example, uh, in 1993 they have been asked on stage, but they, were, they declined because of the illegal activity going on on the site, mainly uh, pirated software and um, uh, breaking into servers. So those are really, I don't think, not the key issues anymore. Um, then there were some trolling and shoot with the police, like there was a surveillance van outside and people you were seeing directional microphones to, to, to surveil the surveillance van. <laughs> <laughs> they copied keys from one of the uh, officers on site. There was, uh, they had the keychain out uh, on their back and they made a, a photo of it and they, they duplicated the keys on the keychain. So uh, even if the cops are on site, we had some fun with them. Um, last time uh, the uh, justice, justice Department was also invited, like Evo Opstelte and such, but they were cancelled uh, just before the event, so that's um, deviate from the norm. Um, as far as I can see, every event had the forensic village and uh, they never had uh, a village at all. So like the, the, the Justice Department or the, 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 the army didn't ever, ever had uh, a village at all, but they never had any capabilities, call it cyber capabilities if you want. So that's new, and there's, yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about that at home. Um, all of the events that I've seen, there were no crimes reported, so fine. Um, and they stopped doing the command post outside of the gates at home 2013, so that's also nice. Um, of course, I've got a lot of sources. Um, like, this, this is one of the original letters, like, from the police that, oh, we're not going to, uh, to, to attend your uh, nice meetings. And, of course, archive.org has a lot, a lot of stuff. I'll put everything up on the wiki and please source everything so we have somewhat a complete overview of past events. Thank you. Exactly on time. Okay. Uh, the last lightning talk is Walter from the content team who wants to say something about the editorial process. Yeah, basically uh, it was suggested that you would explain a bit about the ongoing call for participation and how we deal and editorial independence was specifically mentioned. So we'll start with that. Um, basically, what, do we, what have we put in place to maintain our editorial independence? And our editorial independence mostly relies on having massive egos and having several of them. Look at it as the difference between the Apache project and the Linux project. Linux is just Linux Torvalds being a complete asshole on its own. And we try to have m multiple Linuxes instead of the Apache project, which has a lovely governance model with voting systems. And, and if you are a vote against, you must put in code against it, etc. Some of that we actually nick. But the, the baseline is... Um, uh, we know what our backgrounds are, we more or less know what, where people are coming from in terms of what interest they may have consciously or subconsciously and, um, and that's the other half of it, we don't want to confirm any speakers without having gone through a group process and that's also to explain why several people have come up in the intervening time, well, I now know this and this speaker, and it would be great. Well, And the standard answer will be, go to the CFP website, have a proposal submitted. Even people we actively invite, for example, key, well, people we feel could be keynote speakers, there will be a proposal submitted, and that proposal will be voted in FRAP by team content, and subsequently uh, decided upon. That is the rough outline. And we will start doing so f from February 1st onwards, and that process will just continue until everyone has been rejected or accepted. 
Um, and also, there won't be any tracks. It's just, just there will be stages. Uh, the, uh, um, roughly free, we think, and we, at the moment, still the consensus is we don't want really sh to shoehorn certain speakers into oh that's only politics. Everything is politics. Some things are less technical than others. Um, we're also actively looking into getting voices on board from the global south and elsewhere. You just, and that's one of the other things we have more or less a consensus about is we want people to be slightly surprised when they leave Shah. They must have heard stuff that may have made them slightly uncomfortable. Um, because if you don't learn from it if it doesn't hurt in some way. Um, so that's roughly what I wanted to bring across for you. Questions? Yep. Um, okay, what's the difference between a track and a stage? Um, in on many conferences, you have a track with a certain topic. For example, at FOSDEM, you have a track uh, concentrated on a certain language. For example, the Python room or something like that. And that's not something we want. Okay. Next question. Uh, have you established uh, some relationship with the villages and uh, their stages if they want to have stages? Okay, the question is whether we have established a relationship with the villages and their stages. No, we have not but we would actively like to have that relationship because the, this time we have consciously we have deliberately chosen to have very few ch stages but we would really like to have the villages to have their own stages and by the way that's also to announce the remark about the uh, number of talks at home that number was also inflated by the fact that a lot of village created content was put in a general program as part of the deal you give us some time slots on your stage with our created content and we'll publish your created content on, in the schedule. And that's something we actually want to replicate from OM. So the ultimate number of events you can attend at SHA may be much larger than the three stages would suggest. So, next question. Okay, Stitch. Question is, do you anonymize the submissions before uh, uh, you discuss them? No, we don't. Um, it's pretty simple. Yeah, well, <laughs> it was also it was so, uh, something that also came up pretty late in, in the game before having getting FRAP up and running. That's also partly because of the practicalities that we didn't get there and partly because some members of the content team f feel very strongly about Yeah, you want to know wh who a speaker is, whether that person is able, capable to deliver uh, his or her message uh, on an open stage, etc. So, but we will try to be impartial uh, to the extent possible. Any other questions? Oh, time is up. Okay. Okay, this was the last lightning talk. Now. Uh The last subject for today uh, is uh, a meetup with your team. Uh, we have about 25 minutes left on the clock, uh, and there are two uh, important things that should be discussed within the teams. First is budgets. Team finance wants to know how much money do you need for what, roughly. Of course, you cannot uh, specify everything into detail, but give us at least some number and a reasoning behind it. Okay. Finance sent a spreadsheet to get you started. Use that. Question? So my question is, uh, in this spreadsheet, do we fill in how many tents and other facilities we need that we don't uh, probably don't have to pay for ourselves, uh, uh, but uh, that are organized by another team? Uh, I think the answer is yes. If you need someone else to provide uh, stuff for you that also costs money, please specify what you need. Great. question we have teams and projects so um, are the rules for the projects the same as they are for the teams in terms of budgeting 
uh, I don't know, but please give us information and we can decide that later. Okay. Same question. Okay. Uh, the second subject that you should think about is uh, in the uh, start of October, there will be a meeting with the uh, municipality, municipal, whatever, you get the point, <laughs> the gemeente, uh, about uh, safety and security. If your team or project has specific questions that you want to be answered, make sure the safety and security team knows about those questions because they won't ask them if they don't know them. Easy as that. So... Okay, it's not only safety and security, what is it now? Any questions regarding permits are also very welcome. So, okay, so make sure that questions that need to be asked uh, to the gemeente are uh, prepared. Okay, uh, we cannot prepare that in uh, uh, that today, but at least think about it. Okay. Can you the uh, sorry. Uh, the, the question is: uh, uh, Can we get a list from Team Permit about what actually uh, are the kind of topics that are covered by the permit? Uh, we we cannot have that list right now, but uh, uh, use your common sense. Yeah, Last question. question. you look up yourself on uh, the government websites yeah. uh, basically on the keywords for your activity yeah. what things you are doing and if there's probably something you do. okay uh, so the, the the suggestion is you as a team use your common sense and use google to figure out if something needs a permit because uh, the, 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 there's a bit of chicken egg problem where uh, the permit team also doesn't know about all your plans so cannot specify all your uh, needs uh, I think that would be enough for now. Uh, we have 20 minutes left on the clock at 1800. Please be here again uh, so we can close this meeting and then start having food and uh, slack to the future. The team scan if they have the, the need to discuss. Surely the team can uh, meet and discuss uh, further things after 18 o'clock too. Um, I'd just like to come to an end of uh, our thoughts and especially also to an end of the official thing and the end of the live stream there. So this is the bureaucratic end of the thing, especially if you're staying here. You can talk until blood comes out of years if you want to. Okay. So let's get to it. Okay, uh, thank you for the people on the stream for staying on that long. Um, we are going to finish the stream now because we have group discussions that might take a while until the food is served. Um, and uh, I think it's kind of pointless to keep you staring at the steam all the time. So thank you for your participation. I hope you got something out of that nice information. And bye.